welcome back everyone, Twitch is here, and I am back for some truly jawsome action figure news. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you, Street Sharks are making a return for 2024, and all this comes courtesy of my friends over at Mattel, they let me in on the secret just a little bit early, so we can discuss their upcoming Street Sharks action figure line. Now, before we look at the figures, before we look at the packaging, before we look at the lineup, we gotta give you the rundown. Half shark, half man, fighting evil. That's the plan for these fantastic nostalgic action figures. 2024 will celebrate the 30th anniversary, some of you probably feel as old as I do, of the animated Street Sharks TV show. Collector focused, but kid friendly. Okay, so they're for the collectors, but they're gonna be focused on kids. Kinda, sorta. These figures feature real feel skin, modern articulation, chomping jaws, and modular shark cage accessories that can fit together to form larger cages. These six to six and a half inch tall toys are sure to appeal to collectors who grew up watching the crime-fighting superheroes. If you didn't like Ninja Turtles and you didn't like mice with bikes, you had the Street Shark. So, six and a half inch scale, 13 points of articulation, real feel shark skin, unique features with every figure, and you get a shark cage accessory. So, if you're not excited by now, you probably weren't a fan of the Street Sharks, but then that promo was pretty cool. <laughs> The Street Sharks are just very classic. The most 90s you can possibly get outside of all the other extreme 90s properties. But before we get started, as always, if you're interested in any of the figures we're gonna be talking about here, I will have affiliate links down in the description below. Links for Walmart, Amazon, Entertainment Earth, you name it. I got it. And you just may need some of those Street Sharks for the old collection. Now to kick things off, we have the Street Sharks leader, Ripster. And I gotta say, these look pretty darn cool. Now if I was a betting man, and I am, I would say that they're probably utilizing some of that Masters of the Universe Origins tech on these things, probably what they will ultimately feel like, along with all that real feel skin, which I love that they kept that in there. That's very integral for a line like Street Sharks, so that's always nice to see. Plus, the jaw-chomping action, keeping in mind that it is a humanoid shark man, so plenty of articulation, it looks like, in the wrists, the shoulders, the elbows, you've got the legs, the waist, and of course, the jaw-chomping action. And I like that they pointed out that, yes, each of these Street Shark figures will come with the shark cage, of which you can disassemble and then build a larger cage, perhaps, a larger stand, something like that, to really house your upcoming Street Shark collection. So like I said, Ripster, if you want him, you can pre-order him now, along with Jab, the Hammerhead, and that's pretty cool. See, they should have gotten Vin Diesel, really, to kind of sell us on all of these. I'll take the Vin Diesel role for now, but to get Vin Diesel on Street Sharks again, that has to happen. Somehow, some way, Mattel, you've gotta get Vin Diesel back, at least for some kind of fun promo. Get him at San Diego Comic-Con, something like that. Because Jab is making a return, so he's the hammerhead shark, he's that brown color, tan on the front, big old jaws, he's got that camouflage pants in the boots. Looks pretty cool. So, again, he's gonna have that same exact articulation, he'll have the jaw chomping action. I really hope that these come out as well painted as these renders look, because that would be fantastic. Jab will also come with his shark cage. I wanna keep saying roll cage, it's a shark cage. So essentially, to kick it off, we got two heroes, but all the heroes we get, we're gonna need a villain, and that's where Slash is going to come into play. Now, Slash, looking every bit as, we'll say a sea creature can be with a giant drill on its face, I like that. These also have that nostalgic feel to them. Like, they haven't gone too far in the sense of a redesign. These are street sharks through and through, brought back with now updated articulation, and I think that that is perfect for what I would prefer to see 
in a street sharks line. It's not too outside the box. You're not disassociating yourself with all the fans over the years, but you're also able to bring in new fans that maybe love those classic designs. And now you have new toys. So in the terms of Slash, you got all that green skin and it looks to be that mutated wetsuit around him. He kind of looks like a crew member of Davy Jones straight out of Pirates of the Caribbean, if I'm being honest. And I'm looking forward to seeing how that drill is going to move on his face. But I digress. He looks pretty cool. Again, he comes with the shark cage as well. So all three of these are able to be pre-ordered now. Now, if you watch the little Street Sharks promo at the beginning, we did see all four Street Sharks along with Dr. Paranoid. So yes, eventually all these characters will be a coming out, which I'm very excited for. And in fact, I'm doing this video beforehand, so they might actually have all the characters available for pre-order. So if that's the case, I'll have all the links, but this is the info I was given off the bat. So it's great to see Blades. We get to see Big Slamu along with Jab and Ripster. Not only that, we got villains Dr. Paranoid and Slash. So when you look at all the Street Sharks, all their modern articulation, Blades with his rollerblades. Again, how extreme 90s are we going here? I absolutely love it. Dr. Paranoid, he looks very interesting, especially in the promo. You get to see that he has his I guess human face, you could kind of say. And then it seems to flip to his piranha looking face, which is simply front to back. So maybe there's a button on the back, something like that, which again, if that's the case, I love that they're bringing back those elements. They did it really well with Masters of Universe Origins. Bring that to the Street Sharks. So then to reiterate, we have Jab, we have Ripster, and we have Slash coming soon. We also got teases of Big Slamu, Blades, and Dr. Paranoid, which I'm very excited of. But that being said, action figures aside, what does the packaging look like? Well, you're gonna be stoked because it's something, again, out of the 90s. This just looks... <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Right on the front of the packaging, try me, Ripster, Street Sharks. You get to see the figure, you get to mess with the figure inside the store. Caution, power punching action. 30th anniversary, again, that's incredible. Press my fin if you dare. Same packaging on all the others. Jab, try me, jackhammer, headbutt. I absolutely love it. And then on Slash, you have the chilling, drilling action. So again, that leads me to believe that, yes, you will see some spinning action for old Slash here. Try me. This is this is definitely going to be fun. I'm definitely looking forward to the return of the Street Sharks. It's just 90s Palooza, one after the other. Ninja Turtles, Biker Mice, <laughs> Street Sharks. Can't make this stuff up. Now, because this looks like a, a complete wave one, we'll just say there's no word just yet on anything for Slobster or, of course, Kilimari. So hopefully, and these are the old figures, let me just reiterate that, nothing on Slobster or Kilimari just yet, but hopefully, as the line continues, we will see characters like that, and I wouldn't mind seeing new characters. And then you could do repaints galore. The sky's the limit with Street Sharks. This should be a lot of fun. Again, if you are interested in any of these figures, pre-order links down in the description below. Again, thank you to my friends over at Mattel. And now, I'm curious to know what you guys think of Street Sharks. There are no prices just yet as of this video, but I'm sure you'll see them now so we can talk about that. Hopefully they're not too expensive. And it is always great to get some action figure news out of the blue. That is just always the best. So much fun. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Street Sharks. Let's get Jossum down in the comments. <laughs> I was mandated to use that at least 52 times during this video. So hopefully uh, everyone's been counting. But in the meantime, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, the 90s are still alive. At least for some of us. But I know a lot of people out there, when they see this, they're certainly going to get a big old Jawsome smile on their face. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay Jawsome.